I mean, I think that could be my favorite house. I'm gonna have to be very strong with myself. Oh, I'm getting so excited even thinking about it. Oh, this is a tough one. Hello, how are you today? I'm, well, <laughs> I could be better, I'm not going to lie. There's a few factors contributing to this feeling. One, my ring light isn't working anymore. I decided to film a reel the last day. I was gonna have like a content day where I was filming content all day. <laughs> I got one reel filmed and I came up here to film a video like this sitting down and I went to twist the thing that turns the light on and the light bulb blue. So I'm currently waiting for a new ring light to arrive, but unfortunately I do have a schedule to meet and we're just gonna have to go with it. So if the lighting in this video isn't fantastic, that is why. I do apologize, it broke my heart because I hate having to buy equipment. <laughs> but anyway, today to cheer me up, because if you don't know this about me, I love Nancy Myers movies, like love, like the holiday, it's complicated, something's gotta give. Father of the Bride. <laughs> I'm obsessed, they're my favorite movies. So today I thought it'd be fun to rank all the rooms in these homes. Now, granted I haven't factored in every single Nancy Myers movie because we could be here for a while. So I picked my favorite ones that I've watched many times. I'm well versed on the function of all these spaces because I've seen the characters. <laughs> use all these spaces so I have a good idea on the functionality of the space as well and also apologies for the vacancy of videos recently I'm trying to run an entire company by myself <laughs> so, so it's a lot but it's okay and project manage many projects at the moment so if I'm not going to be uploading twice a week anymore I've decided I can't I just physically can't it's too I <laughs> I will crack. I just don't have the luxury of that time at the moment and also I can't find an editor that I like. Anyway, without further ado guys, let's grab yourself a cup of tea. I have a tea right here, a cup of coffee, whatever you're drinking and let's get into this. I mean, I've got some wine and margarita. You do you. So let's go. I am having an affair with Agnes Adler's husband. <laughs> that is genius. Okay, so if you can see on the screen here, I don't know if it's up here or if it's over here. I don't even know at this stage. But I have a little ranking system done up. I've done a previous video like this where I ranked celebrity homes. So if you haven't seen that one and you enjoy this, I think you'll enjoy that. Also, I think that's one of my favorite videos I've done. So definitely go watch it after this one. I could have ranked movie by movie, like home in total, but... I like rooms in the homes. I don't like every single room and every single home in these movies, if that makes sense. So I thought I'd rank each room and then by the end, whichever movie has the most rooms in the top tier, that's obviously my preferred home. <laughs> There's a lot of features in each of these homes that make them so special. Like for instance, in Something's Gotta Give, she lives on the beach and I love the beach. <laughs> I live near the beach, <laughs> so I need my future home to be near the ocean because I just need to see water. I just don't know. I think it's the thing with people who grow up. I know all my friends are the exact same. I need to see water. So for that reason, that home would be very up here, whereas the interior of it would be kind of a bit lower down. So you get the gist. We're going to start off with dining rooms. So I have dining rooms, kitchen, and living room of, uh, let's set the movie so you know. <laughs> the Holiday, obviously. I mean, is that not the most iconic movie ever? Yes, it is. The Intern, such a good movie. If you have not seen that movie, definitely watch. It's definitely one of my favorite ones. It's more, it's a newer Nancy Myers movie. It's not, yeah. Anyway, Anne Hathaway's in it. It's, it's fantastic. Something's Gotta Give, very good. Really enjoy that one. Beautiful home, beautiful location, beautiful plot. <laughs> it's very good. Diane Keaton, you better work this. It's complicated. Now that's a good one. That's definitely one of my favorites. I love It's Complicated. Meryl Streep, hello. That's all you need to know. And Father of the Bride. Another one of my favorites. I think I've watched Father of the Bride like... I can't even count <laughs> the amount of times I've watched it. It's so good. I watched the both the first one and the second one, the one with the baby as well. So they're the 
five Nancy Myers movies that we're going to be listing off today. So, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so I've listed the tiers into four sections because I mean, they're all beautiful. Like, all these homes are absolutely beautiful. They're all dream homes. Like, they're so stunning. So, I mean, I couldn't even be harsh <laughs> with the tears. My future is like what I would picture my, I, it's good enough to be my future home. Like I would love that kind of vibe aspect in my future home. Where do I sign is, it's like I would, let me buy it, let me rent it, let me stay in it. I don't care what I have to do. I just want to be in this house right now. I could stay here is, is it's lovely. I mean, I wouldn't want it personally but it's lovely and I I could stay there if you gave me the keys and said here here's this house or here's this room for the next five days I could do that yeah and then not for me love I just chose one in here because I thought maybe there might be a wild card in here <laughs> even though spoiler alert <laughs> I know there isn't I mean I might have put one in there just for the sake of filling a tier but we'll get to that when we get to it we're going to do dining rooms first then kitchen then living room first up we have the dining room in father of the bride this home is oh <laughs> this home is absolutely beautiful like it's actually like it's probably one of my favorite homes it's that like very aspirational american home if that makes sense i just love it they have two dining spaces they have the more casual one and the formal dining so i mean already like I mean come on it's just stunning I prefer the casual dining to the more formal dining that's his personal preference you have like the beautiful dark woods you have the more kind of farmhouse dining chairs it's stunning so I'm gonna put it I could stay here because I mean it's not oh my god this is the nicest dining room I've ever seen in my life like give it to me it's beautiful I could stay there so the dining room in it's complicated. I mean, I just love the open floor concept. Like you have your beautiful kitchen just here with that opening, but the corners are arched. Stunning. And then on the other side, then there's a courtyard. Oh, this house is just, I think that could be my favorite house. Oh, it's complicated. That could be my favorite house, but I'm not going to say that right now. So I'm going to put this into where do I sign because I'm gonna leave my future till the end I might move things up and down we'll see but at the moment like where do I sign because I need that dining room I need that whole house to be honest something's got to give there was like two scenes I think in this dining room it's beautiful it's beautiful I love the plate rack kind of display thing on one of the walls I think it's absolutely stunning so I think I might put this one in also where do I sign Mm, no, actually, I'm going to move it down to I could stay here. I'm going to be tough on this. I'm going to have to be very strong with myself and, you know, be like, no, okay, be realistic. Would you want this exact scenario in your home? And for me personally, I like it. I could love it, but it wouldn't be my personal aesthetic or style. So for that reason is I could stay here. The dining room in the holiday, the rich house, <laughs> the mansion to be specific. To be honest, like the dining room itself is pretty boring. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty boring. The beams across the ceiling, like the overall, like it's, it's so, it's like very California. Yeah, I could, where do I sign? <laughs> because it's absolutely stunning. The dining room in the intern, this is lovely. Again, this is that kind of open floor plan concept where you have your living, your dining, and then your kitchen is true. That almost half arched opening. It's beautiful. This whole home as well is absolutely beautiful. So where do I sign? <laughs> because I just love the mix of styles in it. It's very New York. It's very um, curated. My God, that took a set. That took a minute to <laughs> think of that word. <laughs> the dining room in the holiday. I mean, I would stay here, but I mean, I mean, it's would be my personal and it tastes like the little cottage kind of life <laughs> lovely for a little holiday a little getaway you know the holiday you know I, just, I didn't I didn't even try for that when it just happened <laughs> so the kitchen in father of the bride again it's beautiful but I mean unfortunately there isn't many clips of it so there's only like little segments that you can see so for that reason I'm gonna put in I could stay here I'm starting to this is very eye-opening because we're starting to get an image of what the favorite house is. <laughs> the kitchen in, it's complicated. Oh my goodness, okay. This is definitely in my future. I just think this is absolutely stunning. I love the two pendants over the island. I love that the island is open underneath. It's like it's just a slab of 
marble or quartz or granite the chairs on the yeah it's up and then the butcher's block here and then the shelves built into the wall on this side the beautiful window the roman blinds it's oh it's beautiful oh my goodness oh i'm getting so excited even thinking about it wow just imagine being in that space is just amazing and then there's also two glass doors over this side they open up and that's like the utility room mud room kind of situation it's absolutely stunning oh my goodness the kitchen in the holiday again could i stay there no i'm just gonna say not for me love it's just not it's too old <laughs> when it comes to a kitchen or bathrooms i like the things to be new and functioning and working and easy because i don't want to be like having to hit the microwave or hit the kettle or the toaster for it to start working so not for me love although it's still absolutely beautiful I and mean, i if i was on a holiday and the appliances are updated and it was that similar aesthetic i definitely would stay there the kitchen in the holiday this one might surprise you but it's not for me <laughs> I just find it very, now this could just be the one image that I saw, I didn't really see many clips of her in the kitchen, in the movie. <laughs> this is my job, I watched all five movies for this not many events and I did not. <laughs> I wish the kitchen in The Intern, again this is, uh, I just love the fireplace in the kitchen and the open shelves either side, I just think it's absolutely stunning. The colour of the kitchen is lovely. Not a fan of the lights over the island. Beautiful ornate detailing on the ceiling. I just love that mix of styles. It just really feels homely. And I love the little like little kids table. <laughs> In the kitchen as well. It's so it's just so homely. And I think that's the beauty of the interiors in these movies is they are very homely and warm and welcoming and I think that's what's so fascinating fascinating about them and there's definitely some beautiful principles in the designs of these spaces that you can really interject into your own home as well but I guess another side tangent that we don't need to get into so I'm going to put this into where do I sign I mean it wouldn't be my future kitchen but I mean it has the bones there like I mean I would I would 100% buy this if <laughs> obviously if I had the money <laughs> to do it or if it was offered to me I'm like yes give it to me I want it yeah it's lovely the living room in Father of the Bride again this is probably going to go into where do I sign because I really love this living room now I probably would change the colour on the walls myself probably there's arched bookcases built into the walls and you know I mean if you watch my channel <laughs> that I love a good arch I love curves and arches so Definitely probably where do I sign because I would definitely live in this living room and I think it's absolutely stunning and then also the scene when they're pregnant and the like the curtains are blowing in the wind. It's just it's chef's kiss. It's phenomenal. It's beautiful. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. Now the living room in it's complicated. Now in the movie it looks a lot nicer than the pictures I've seen of it but just for me it just wouldn't be my personal style. I just wouldn't be the biggest fan of it there's a lot of things in this living room that i would change love the built-in bookshelves love the fireplace love the art prints not a fan of that wardrobe that's on the wall i just wouldn't like that i think that ruins it personally but i do really like it so i'm gonna put it into i could stay here but it wouldn't be and i love the vaulted ceilings love the vaulted ceilings i love vaulted ceilings i love airiness i love light so that would definitely be a factor i would take from this living room and apply it into my own kind of teacher home <laughs> the living room in something's gotta give <laughs> love this living room i love this living room i watched this movie i think maybe last week so i'm gonna put this one into oh this is a tough one. Oh, this is a tough one okay i'm gonna put it into oh i'm gonna put it into where do i sign the whole living room in total with the bookcases and the door going to the guest room and the staircase going up this side and the french doors all along one wall looking out into the ocean i mean chef's kiss i mean actually no sorry i'm gonna put that into my <laughs> into my future just the whole vibe of it is just absolutely stunning the living room in the holiday this is the more expensive one the mansion in california again this is definitely my future because oh my goodness this, this living room is so nice it has the elements of that previous one with the french doors all along one wall except it has beautiful sumptuous furniture and it's very neutral and it's a very calming space and when the lights are off fantastic and also the fireplace oh gorgeous the living room in the intern i'm gonna put this in where to my sign because it's absolutely stunning even the mix of styles is so like fantastic and that beautiful like yellow 
couch at the end is just like a ray of sunshine the whole area just flows very nicely like you have the yellow then this side it's a beautiful wood dining table with the uh, cane chairs and then your blue kitchen it's just it's phenomenal it's so nice i really like it and then finally living room in the holiday the cottage i'm gonna put this one into I could stay here because it's absolutely beautiful. I really, really like it. It's so welcoming and it has a window seat, which you know, I love a window seat. Like I love it, <laughs> love a window seat. So definitely gonna put that into I could stay here. Okay, so that's my list. That's my ranking of the rooms. Well, there's obviously bedrooms I haven't ranked and hallways that have been shown that I haven't ranked, which could alter this list completely. But at the moment, I have three houses that are in my future, which is the complicated house. <laughs> the something's got a give house and the mansion from the holiday which i mean is very fitting because they are probably my favorite houses i just love the house from it's complicated like i think that's probably my favorite house it's one story it has a courtyard i mean i want a courtyard so bad and maeve if you're watching this i know she wants a courtyard as well it's just such a beautiful like feature in a house and also all the light and it's california again it's that kind of sunny vibe it's stunning i just love the flow of it and it's a very homely home if that makes sense and she's a cook i don't know if it's that that makes me want even more because it's like all the fresh pastries <laughs> that are probably here that's my ranking of the nancy myers homes i know there's a many more nancy myers movies and also bedrooms and stuff so if you'd like me to do a part two to this do let me know and i probably will film it because i really enjoy this i love nancy myers movies i just love the vibe of them they just make me feel happy and safe and relaxed and I really like them. Also, one little detail I really love about the living room in the holiday is the beams on the ceiling and then the kind of corbels just before they get to the wall. It's such a phenomenal phenomenal detail that I definitely think you should probably, you know, just bear in mind, you know, when you're building or renovating, it's a nice little detail to add in. I'll leave a link to this tier list down below so you can do it yourselves. And if you do do it, Take a picture and send it to me on Instagram because I'd love to see what your ranking is and where you'd place all these rooms because, I mean, everyone's taste is so different. Let me know what your favourite Nancy Myers movie is. I don't know which one mine is because I love them all. <laughs> Any of these movies that are in this list are probably my favourite ones. Thank you so much for watching this. I know, I had a great time as well. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section and hit that subscribe button whilst you're here. You made it this far, you might as well stick around. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching. Bye.